It's been a pretty great 2023 for DaVinci Resolve. We've got two pretty sizable updates in my opinion, 18.5 and 18.6, uh, bringing some really powerful new features, really sought after updates like auto transcription, text-based editing, and automatic captions for your videos. We have the initial implementation of the extremely powerful USD 3D system in Fusion, and pretty recently, we have the full rollout of online storage tied to uh, DaVinci Resolve cloud projects to allow for your seamless collaborative workflow over the internet. But I think there is an argument to be made that all of that might pale in comparison to what I want to tell all of you about today. Spoiler alert, I am talking about Magic Animate V3 for Mr. Alex Tech, his brand new plugin that I honestly think should just be part of Resolve. Like Resolve should buy it, pay him whatever he wants, and just give it to everyone that downloads DaVinci Resolve. I think it can be that key to, uh, Resolve doing really well going forward. I'm gonna show off the preset a little bit, but I also really want you to go and watch uh, Alex's video as he rolls it out and updates it and all of that. So there's also a few other things I wanna talk about. The first being the main central reason I'm excited about Magic Animate V3, and that is accessibility. Accessibility is a giant deal when it comes to Resolve. There is a uh, pretty amazing free version of Resolve out there for free. I said free already. <laughs> and while on the channel, I talk a lot about the Fusion page and how powerful and flexible it is and how you can create almost anything you want to natively in the Fusion page. I've also created dozens of presets and plugins myself that takes power out of the Fusion page and turns it into drag and drop effects and titles and transitions on the edit page. And the big reason for that is accessibility. Fusion's great, but I want to help people that will never open the Fusion page. And Magic Animate is honestly that on steroids, it's incredible. <laughs> With only a few clicks and zero keyframes, uh, editors of all types will be able to dial in exactly the kind of animation they want uh, for images, for video clips, for their logos, for titles. Oh, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> That's also a big reason why I'm making this video. Uh, even though, hey, Alex's video is doing great. Alex, you know, is obviously a much larger channel already, but hey, maybe there's someone who will watch this video that won't watch his. So, if that's you, go watch his and go get Magic Animate. Here's some important info. There are two versions of Magic Animate available today. One is the free version, which is the standalone effect. And then there is the uh, paid sort of super bundle that includes the effect, but also an entire library of presets that Alex is building and is going to continue to build and some custom tools to allow you to so easily uh, create your own presets out of Magic Animate and like build your own library or custom tune it to what you need. It's very, very cool. <laughs> but here we need a little note. Like I said, there was a free version and then the paid version. And I'm just gonna say, hey, buy the paid version. Um, maybe this is a little complicated because Alex also did get me an affiliate link, but hey, even if he didn't, I'd tell you to go get the paid version. Because one, I know this has been a monumental amount of work that Alex has put into this over months. And I know how tempting uh, it can be to lean into that accessibility of a free preset. And I know, you know, he wants to put it out there for people who can use it for free. But if you are able, consider supporting Alex um, because I can speak to how much that makes a difference. Like I mentioned, I have dozens of plugins and presets I've made for DaVinci Resolve. A lot of those are free. Some of those are like smaller, cheaper individual one-off presets and then some a uh, few larger packs I've created. And on the whole, I'm continually surprised at how um, a, a lot of you support me through that. But I also know that if everyone who downloaded one of my free presets sent a dollar, my life would be radically different. So hey, um, as much as we are able, let's radically change Alex's life for this radical new tool he's made. That's pretty cool, I think. But hey, you wanna see some cool stuff Magic Anime can do? Let's check it out. Now, if you grab the free version of Magic Animate that will show up uh, in your effects library under uh, effects, Mr. Alex Heck Magic Animate, if you buy the paid version, then that will be under Magic Toolkit, then Magic Animate, and you'll have uh, the original effect, creator tools, oh, which are so cool. I think I might barely touch on these, and then presets. Look at all these. Look at all these. These are just like effects that he could have sold completely on their own. And as powerful as the main effect is, I think uh, these effects are great for showing off what it can actually do. Um, first, we have face cam. Hey, I have a face cam here. I can uh, browse through these. And if I find uh, this one, I'll drag it right to this face cam and you'll see uh, it starts completely off screen and then 
drops right in, has a little bounce. Oh, it's so nice. Check it out. We have versions. If I want to slide it over here, slide it over that corner. Oh, are these all the different corners? These are all the different corners. Slides down from the whole time. Ooh, I want to slide in. Oh, nice. Wow, it's going to be really hard to just not show off all of these effects as they are. Ooh. Woo. Check in a different corner. Woo. Ooh, that little fold in. Droop. A little zoom in. Change the corner. Wow, these versions are so nice for just changing the corner. Let's check out some reveals. Center border. Droop. Ooh. Ooh, it's nice. There are a lot here, including like text and transitions and all of that. Uh, but important to note, these were all made with the main Magic Animate tool. So you, you see the breadth of what's available here, but the tool itself, okay, boom. We can go drop it on some footage and by itself, nothing happens. Now, uh, you've got some main transform controls, uh, a shadow if you're dealing with something like a logo or text, but you also have these main animation controls. If I just want this uh, footage to just have a subtle zoom in, I toggle down zoom, I have that zoom in, it's coming from zero to one, and whoop, it comes in. Real nice, real nice. I can change the easing curve here. Um, I can add in a little whip if I want it from the side as well. Ooh. So customizable. Um, if I change this start to something like sliding it up this way, then we'll actually slide down from the top. And then, hey, I own this logo as well. So if I drop a magic anime on there, uh, come down, I want to uh, spin and whip that one. And yeah, fade uh, dissolving the last one. So now that one will. Zoop. That white might be a lot then. So if we just have. Oh, it's like a dissolve wipe. Ooh. Oh, the operation. Of course, you can just change it to a dissolve and it will. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna keep finding stuff in here for a while. Uh, but then, hey, come over to uh, mask. We already got a mask. Hey, say you wanna change this up and I'll add a border after the fact. You wanna go back to the old logo. You got it, you got it there. So what's Magic Animate? It's an engine for you to um, create incredible animations with absolutely no keyframes, tons of flexibility. Uh, in the paid version, you get all of these presets. Um, these creator tools are another big hook here as well. You have a few different starting points. I'm um, including some stuff like a background or bringing in text. Yeah, a little text reveal. And in the main tool, but also in this saver tool, you have action to the save tab where you can completely make something custom that you like that you want to use over again. Hop into the fusion page, um, select a node, run this little saver thing, even add a custom folder. Let me do this real quick. Let's say I got this logo, I'm gonna hop into Fusion. So now, right, this is an effect. I need to select this node, copy it, change this folder to something like Alex. File name, uh, circle logo. If I click save, it'll say completed. I hop back to the edit page. Get rid of this. I might need to restart. I know that. Ooh, this refreshed. Let's try like, uh, no, magic toolkit, magic animate. Alex folder, circle logo, drop it on. Whee. Wow. I know I've done a lot more general gushing than I've done showing this off. Uh, first link in the description will be to uh, Alex's video to check this out um, yourself. Second link uh, will be a link to, you know, purchase this or grab it for free. Like I said, Alex did provide an affiliate link because he's incredible. So if you want to support me while supporting Alex, you can do that. Because, um, hey, the Resolve community, I think is pretty incredible already with how we support each other. And this is just a new way we're doing that. Like I said, I think everyone should use Magic Animate. So go check out his video. Check out the download or purchase link. Um, let me know what you are most excited for. Oh man, we've barely shown off like anything. Let's scroll down and see what we've got. Ooh, little slides. Ooh, oh, he did say that. He has this like fake blurred out of focus thing. Oh, 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 the easing is just so good. I could just talk about it forever. Oh man, just these presets are incredible. Wow, wow, what's whip spin? Ooh, that on a logo would look cool. All right, I've told you about it. I've shown off just a little bit. Go check this out and thank me after the fact. It's incredible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.